Hey guys, so you can tell from my voice that I'm losing it. I'm losing my voice. I went to my friends uh, filming the other day out in the cold and I clearly did not look after myself enough. So hopefully you find my voice raspy and sexy and not icky. But today we are going to be reacting to Stray Kids. And yes, it's 5 a.m. Yes, I'm losing my mind. Why am I awake? So Stray Kids are about to have their comeback with Case 143 as part of their Maxident. I'm not quite sure how you say it. I'm pretty sure it's Max um album and I'm really excited for this. Their last comeback was obviously Maniac which came out whilst I was in Korea in March and I feel like so much has changed since then but um you guys know me I'm a stray kid stan. I love those boys and shush and I'm always excited for a stray kid's comeback and this comeback in particular looks like they're going for a very different visual and sound than they normally do which i personally am so freaking excited for stray kids over their entire discography have shown us so many different sides to them and just when you think they've settled on one type of sound they flip it and go for something completely different and twitter were kind of torn on this but i personally i'm really excited to see this and see where it goes um and the concept looks really unique and fun so let's freaking see <laughs> my bias in stray kids if you don't know is is felix but go on you guys probably knew that at this point it's been like i said it's been nearly five years come on now but yes let's you can see my messy cable management i don't want to talk about it but let's not dilly dally let's just get into the bloody mv normally with stray kids videos i watch them twice because why the fuck not but yeah let's go uh stray kids case one for three let's go Subtitles in English. Oh no. Oh my god, what is this? What in the poppy playtime? Whoa! Not the psycho reference. Wait, is this like freaking. Stephen King? Whoa, that eye makeup is so cool. Whoa! Yes, sir. What is it? This concept. Whoa, what is that? So cute. That's such an interesting tone for Felix. So there's so much happening. The sound is so unique. That's one fine fucking man. Fine, I'll give you my number, shit. Oh! This structure is so interesting. Blonde Dungan, man. And Brown Head Felix. You know how I feel about Brown Head Felix? So many outfits and concepts. This <laughs> his voice sounds so good. What the? This chorus is so interesting. I can't tell how I feel about it. <laughs> this character has so much character. Whoa, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. There's so much going on, my brain can't comprehend it all. Wait, those outfits of fire, I love that. That is a look on Felix. Let's get up, okay. Those, those graphics are so cute. I'm a Singman enthusiast. This concept is so adorable. <laughs> he looks as good. Oh, oh my god! I thought I'd lent on it. Whoa! How is like how have I lent on the keyboard? That's cool as fuck. That jacket's sick. This is so interesting. Oh, it's from the teaser. <laughs> I 
So meta. Is that the ending? Whoa. Oh my god, my voice hurts so much. <laughs> this is so cool. This concept's so cool. Those outfits are fire. Okay, I definitely need to rewatch this because so much just happened in three minutes. My brain is, is fried. Okay, my first thoughts initially right off the bat are it's very different. It's very unique. I was trying to watch the lyrics and the MV at the same time. The lyrics are freaking adorable. The concept I'm getting, but my brain isn't connecting at 5 a.m. But I'm getting the policemen and they're going after the people. The, the, the plushies? I'm not understanding. <laughs> oh my god, it's 5 a.m. Okay, I need, to, I need to listen again. I need to listen again. I need to listen again. Okay. <laughs> what in the Stephen King is this? Dude, this looks so good. Are these supposed to be psycho references? Every time I think I understand, it changes. Yes, sir. Dang. That's so cute. It's so unique. Even the music video itself is so unique. The transitions. <laughs> Every time, like, e I love this. Every time my brain settles on it being cute, it changes. There's some looks being served here. I love their like graphics though. Yanjin's voice sounds really good in this chorus. This choreography is so cool. That's so sick. That freaking transition is fire, man. Felix sent the time. This line distribution seems pretty sexy as well, you know. That's so cute. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love it. I love the color grading of this scene as well. Think of what it's reminding me of. It does feel like a video game. It feels like you're in a fuck every time, man. It feels like you're in a video game. That's so cool. How strange that they all fit this vibe so well. Like this suits them all so much. I'm so curious what their like explanation of the the storyline is. Yeah, these outfits are fire. These outfits are freaking fire. This is so interesting. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so I, I my brain almost can't comprehend it. Every time I said this, every time I kind of went, okay, it's a cuter song. It like swapped around. And then I was like, okay. We've gone for like an edgy vibe, like a, a mix up. And then it went back. And what's so strange is that it suited all the members so well. You know, sometimes in K-pop songs, if there's like a really polarizingly cute vibe, some members you can tell aren't, aren't fucking with it. And if there's like an overly like 
opposite vibe. You can tell that it doesn't suit them. Like this concept suited every single, like every single member was so well suited. I know that sounds really dumb to say considering they literally write their own songs. Like that must've sounded so dumb of me to say, but do you get what I mean? It was so unique, but it, it worked so well. The song, I actually, I'm really surprised by it. Given the track unveils you've heard of the other songs, I'm really, really excited for the unit songs, by the way. Three Ratchet Drill, British Era, In It Love. And the Dance Ratchet song sounds really good. And of course, the vocal line song sounds amazing. I'm really excited for the dance line song, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is such a different vibe. But I really liked it. The line distribution seemed so good. And just all of their voices complemented the vibe. And do you know what I love the most about just the, the voice that the, it just, it worked and my brain is so confused <laughs> yeah i really i actually really liked it you know i really liked it it was a lot of once but i liked it yeah the actual video i'm so curious what the actual concept was it felt like in the beginning we had some like psycho references a lot of stephen king kind of odes in there and then there were there were, there were policemen and there were plushies and i was enjoying watching it do I know what was going on? No, but they look good. Please keep in mind it is also 5 a.m. So any last brain cells I have in my brain aren't brain selling right now. I actually really, really like this aesthetic. I thought it was really fun and really unique and really fresh. And I feel like it was a really nice, like, I feel like that kind of fresh, cute concept is really making its way back into K-pop and is really like blowing up again at the moment. But it felt like it was that cute concept with a stray kids twist. And especially after Thunderous and Maniac, it felt like they'd really chosen this kind of like, not grungy, but this kind of like, this this just particular vibe. And this was so different to that. And yes, yeah, somehow still so cohesive with that. I really, really liked it. But the music video was really cool. I loved all the outfits. I really enjoyed the concept. Um, I'm really, again, I'm really curious to see how they explained the storyline, like what the actual like storyline is meant to be in comparison to how I've comprehended it with my sleepy, sleepy brain. But it was really fun to watch. I really love the graphics that they involve in this, like um, in Maniac, the graphics they've had in that, as well as the like cartoon style they had in Thunderous. I really, really love. So I like that as well. And yeah, I felt like i really enjoyed it <laughs> the choreography i'm also really interested to see stray kids choreographies are always really satisfying and uh addictive and i always just want to watch them over and over again so i'm excited to see that too um but yeah i feel like it's gonna grow on me i feel like it's a grower it's not straight away a favorite of mine but i have a feeling this album's gonna be a favorite of mine but once again i'd like to say Stray Kids come the heck through, showing another side of themselves. I feel like they haven't had any comebacks that have sounded the same since their debut. That haven't meant to sound similar because they're in like a similar album series, you know? Like every single time they come back with a new album series, it has a completely different side and a completely different vibe. And I just freaking love that. And I will never stop respecting that. So three Ratcha pop off yeah that was my reaction to um stray kids is case 140 if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe um i'll also leave down below my twitch because i stream every day in case you're wondering why i'm so inactive over here and also my dance team because i'm now in a k-pop dance team so be sure to go subscribe to them as well i'll be in lots of covers over there soon as well and yeah i will see you next time bye i'm gonna go sleep <laughs>